Today is the day. I've been struggling with dual caliper problems forever. I've never had a dual caliper, let alone a hydro. I've had an inline for the past month. It's pretty cool using a hydro. So here I have lay products. I got the will wood, I got the dual caliper bracket, and I'm about to drop all this stuff. Hold on. Pretty much here's all the stuff. We got the dual caliper brackets designed by SLG. We got the Willwood calipers proprietary to these brackets. And we got some brake pads. Exclusively, Willwood does not have brake pads that are aftermarket for these calipers. So, we got some Willwood brand. Willwood brand. These are the BMW dual caliper brackets for the E36 non M. We are going to be installing these, showing how they're literally just bolt on on this car. There is no brake shield, there is no handbrake, so it'll be fairly easy. Let's put the car in the lift, in the air, take off the wheel, and pretty much show you how easy it is to install these. Let's go. Never lower your car as much as you want to. It looks great. It does not go on there as easy as it should. So we will begin by taking off the wheel. That's step one, right? So I'll give a little walk around about my setup right here. I have true coilovers in the rear, adjustable arm, still have my spring perch, and non-M caliper with a drilled and slotted rotor, really rusty, and some, and I have stud conversion on the rear. We're going to start first by taking off the caliper. It's held on by two 16 millimeter. It's really easy to access them with, especially with a ratcheting wrench, and I'll go grab the tool right now. gonna take it off. After you release the two bolts that are in the back, the caliper can come right off. I suggest you use a zip tie, zip tie it somewhere, don't let it dangle. All right, so I'm zip tying my caliper onto something. Let's say this is good. All right, with the, with the caliper secured, we can now get started on taking off the rotor. Rotor is held on by an Allen key. It has to be one of these. I'm pretty sure it's a six. Six millimeter, cause metric, BMW. I was correct, it's a six. I'm gonna use this voice part, it's fine. Look at that. In the past, I've tried using the weld on brackets by, I'm not gonna name or point any fingers, but well, it's not very easy. One of them is actually still on my car. I'm gonna try hitting it with a hammer. Hopefully the welds didn't penetrate enough to do anything because the other one already fell off. It's really hard to weld onto cast and actually make a strong weld. So that's why this bracket way better. This is the test right here. This was done with a cheap entry level welder to see if it actually penetrated the cast. Come here. So that one hit. That's the weld on bracket. Luckily, I did not get to use this or else my calipers would have ripped off or I don't know. If you're going to use this, get an experienced welder or don't at all and just buy the dual caliper bracket. Ding! <laughs> That's the caliper. Those will just bolt on. These are th threaded holes right here. Will wood 120. 9687 specifically there's no left and right either or works which is great if you ever have to replace one you never have to worry about like oh is this is the left one is this is the right one but it's great and this is the hardware we have i have it separately because it's still in the prototype stage it's arp hardware highest grade i'm pretty sure this is a 10.9 i believe 
10.9, this is 12.9, got the brake pads. So yeah, let's just start bolting it up and putting it over there. Well, I believe this side should be it, right? After you take off the brake shield and the parking brake, this is all you'll be left with. There'll be an ABS sensor right here. When you take apart the brake shield and the parking brake, you will be left with emptiness. Once you get everything out of the way, this is the driver's side. So you see this little tab right here. You grab the adapter bracket. You finesse her through in here. She comes around, hugs the tab, and not even with bolts or anything in there, I can literally take my car off the lift right now, just send it to the ground with this. So yeah, let's go get some bolts. As for bolting on the bracket, you will be supplied with four of these. It's two per bracket. Two of these, small little 10 millimeter. And you'll get four of these, two per secondary caliper. So we're gonna start with the black ones. Let's start with the small one, they come with a little washer. And let's go over there. So we'll start with the bigger ones. Bigger ones go next to these little tabs down here. This one screws in right here. Nice and easy. And another one goes right in there. Nothing's in the way. Absolutely nothing's in the way. You don't have to press out bearings or hubs or anything. Literally just gold goes on. And last one is the little 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter goes right on top. All right, now I need some hand tools so I can make them a bit tighter. So these are the two tools required to tighten down the bracket. Other than there is one bolt that goes from the back. We'll worry about that one last. It is a hex cap bolt. One of these doodads go and do that. So we'll save that one for last. We got these wrenches. So, now let's do up here. so these bolts are really high grade. Typically a grade 10 bolt can hold up to, don't quote me on this, but like 60 to 80 foot pounds of torque. But that also depends on bolt size and whatever. But usually you're not gonna be able to break these by hand. So tighten them up as snug as possible. Make sure that they're on there tight to ensure that your caliper is secured and we'll do mad skids. All right. So the bracket is secured. We just need one more bolt. I'll be back. So I got the 3 8 ratchet with a three inch extension. We got an eight millimeter hex socket and we got the bolt bolts going through the back the actual adapter bracket is threaded so it goes through where the handbrake the handbrake cable used to go it's pressed in usually just pop that out comes right out and now that's left a nice hole for us to use all right, so it's really hard to get a camera angle of that, but luckily we have some trailing arms back there that we can clearly show you where that hole is. So this is an E46 M3 trailing arm. The design is very similar. BMW really did not change their design that much, but same, same thing goes. The brake cable would go through here. It's pressed in. This bolt is gonna go through here and meets our adapter through the back. So brand new unbox, they come wrapped up. It says you can only use high performance DOT3 or DOT4 or DOT5.1 brake fluid, which is really interesting. I never heard of DOT5.1, 5.1. All right, so this is the caliper, dual piston design. Hits it from the back, hits it from the front, you know. Now we gotta put in some brake pads. These are Willwood brand brake pads. So we got the fancy caliper. This is the retaining clip right here. You can just use your thumb, push it out and pull. That's what holds the brake pads in place. 
the retaining clip. I'm gonna stick it through the two holes on the caliper. I'm gonna slide this one in. I'm just gonna go through the two holes on the outermost part of the pad. There it goes. The old one out. And then you're gonna fish this one in here. And line it up with the holes. Get it right through. Lift this up. Push. And lock. There we go. We have the secondary caliper ready to go. I'm just gonna put the rotor on which is held on by the six millimeter hex bolt. The caliper goes on the outside of the bracket and you push a bolt right through the hole of the actual caliper and meet it into the bracket. Can you see? So pretty much one bolt already went in. Let's do the second bolt. The second bolt goes right there. And we tighten her up. The new bolts for the secondary caliper are 17. So I'll use this ratcheting wrench. As for the bottom one, it's a tight fit, so we're going to use a 6 inch extension with a 17 millimeter socket and a 3 8 ratchet. I'm going to get it from We're going to get it from behind the trailing arm. So the secondary caliper is on, lines up perfectly. It looks super sick. So all that's pretty much left is cut the zip tie that's holding my primary caliper. And just bolt her back on. Okay, so we're done. The caliper, the primary caliper was reinstalled. Rotor's on, dual caliper bracket, driver's side is installed, along with the Willwood caliper. It's looking really mean. I just can't wait to pull the e-brake after this. Probably tomorrow, since it's dark out and it's illegal to drift on the streets, guys. Shame on you. <laughs> And there she is. <laughs>